Today, we're going to compare the fully upgraded shark board to the fully upgraded monster board. I'm doing this because I believe these are the two best fully upgraded boards you could get in the game. I'm here to give you advice as to which one you should fully upgrade first, and it's pretty crucial because these upgrades are quite expensive. Let's do it, 100 keys. We gotta do it right now. Bam. Yes, yes. Yes, I finally did it. So now I'm gonna upgrade it even more with Special Power Smooth Drift, 150 keys. But KDM, isn't that a lot of keys to be spent? Well, voice of reason and logic, I do what I want. So I'm gonna spend 150 keys on this. I'm not crazy, I promise. <coughs> finally, finally, I've been wanting to do this for so long. <laughs> Unlock those two upgrades. Yeah! 100 keys now. Oh. <coughs> Super jump special for 110 keys. Bam. Oh yeah, we finally did it. We finally did it, man. Let's first go over the fully upgraded shark board. I call it the shark board. It's the great white board. Same thing. Nope. Bruh. If we were just basing this comparison on looks alone, the great white board would obviously be my pick. I mean, who doesn't want to surf on a shark? And honestly, the monster board kind of looks like Illuminati to me. Of course the speed up is awesome, and smooth drift is kind of cool to have. But you must keep your eye on your hoverboard meter while you're gliding on it. Because once that meter runs out, you need to make sure you land in a safe place. Otherwise... This is one reason why I think the fully upgraded monster board is a better choice to upgrade first. The monster board has the speed up special power combined with the super jump special. And I believe that the super jump special jumpy shoes is more advantageous than the smooth drift. Of course they both have speed up so you're pretty much choosing between smooth drift and super jump. Surfing on top of trains is one of the best strategies you could use in this game to get farther as it helps you see you over stuff and gives you an eye on what's coming at you. The smooth drift does this as well but not quite as well. And if you're a pro with the swipe down movement then yeah, it's a no-brainer. Fully upgraded monster board is probably the right move for you. For my best score ever, I scored 62 million. I had the monster board with its two upgrades, and it was pretty sweet having those jumpy shoes on most of the time, especially since I maxed out on my jumpy shoe power up rating. Trust me! So I say these are the two best boards to fully upgrade first to maximize your performance on the Subway Surfer app. I say upgrade the monster board first with the two upgrades, speed up and super jump, and then after you become a baller, go buy the upgrades for the great whiteboard as it is pretty cool too but let me know what you guys think in the comment section what do you think is the best fully upgraded board and uh i'll see you guys next time